right, what's up guys? This is my 12 valve project. I'm gonna be putting on cab lights just in case your truck doesn't have the cab lights, which this this one did not come with it. We're gonna show how we're gonna easily install them. It, the factory, once you take off the headliner, the factory already has the holes for where they're gonna be going. So all we're gonna do now for the first thing to do is we're gonna go get a we're gonna get a drill we're gonna make a little hole directly in the middle of that hole so let me do that now I'm gonna get a really tiny drill bit and I'm gonna and so you know you can get that uh, that punch hole and you can punch a hole uh, make your mark there but you know you can eyeball it pretty good with this all right so there's my little pin hole now I'm gonna get a bigger a bigger right, drill so bit. I got the bigger drill bit I'm over here and make this hole here. I'll tell you what we're going to do next after that. See how long that took there's some thick steel so the little the drill bit the quicker you're gonna be able to do it so you see how long it took so now I'm gonna get the special I forget what these are called again damn it uh, but it makes the hole much bigger faster so we're gonna attach this here's the hole in the roof here's my little gizmo Holes getting bigger, like saying, "Oh shit!" Those holes you put in the truck. Now I got a fatter one. I can't believe I can't remember the name of this. All right, so I got a fatter one. You can see the hole here. I'm gonna go on top because we have that lip around there. This, you're gonna say how, how big of a fucking hole you're gonna put in here I'm gonna tell you right now we're gonna I remember this is the original harning original harness from another Dodge Ram uh, since this is a 12 valve and it's a 1996 I'm not going to be adding the gadget that went to the rearview mirror or the uh, console so how big do we make this hole big enough for her to go in so if you can squeeze that in there this one just has a little bit more to go just a little bit more all right i made this hole big enough so what are we going to do next we're going to have to make two other holes because the lenses the lenses take two now look what i did these were used they were uh you know they had that real dull look to it you know i did the same thing you can do with the headlights and i clear coated and look brand new i'm using these in particular as opposed to aftermarket because these are the direct concave of the rooftop because you know i'm very concerned about water going in so this fits the roof perfectly when you go with the aftermarket you're taking a chance all right so what are we going to do we're going to get a screw i mean i'm sorry we're going to get the uh, small small drill bit i'm 
that I seem to lost for a second. Okay, I found the drill bit. All right, first we're gonna get put the lens and we're going to line up the hole of where the light plugs into the lens. So we're gonna line that up with the hole of that, you know, it's already here for the factory. So just gonna make sure she's lined up. All right, she needs to come over here just a little bit. All right, that's cool. All right, so now, of course, make sure it's straight over here, which I already did. And we're gonna get a couple pieces of tape. Or we're going to put one there to hold it down on that side. One over here, all right. Now we get the drill with the little bitty tiny eensy weensy drill bit and we're going to line up where the screws go. And then we're gonna do the same with the other hole. Make a drill bit. Make these holes bigger. Now, just so you know, the other two holes, you see one over here. Over here you're gonna have to drill a, through a second layer. Okay, this is one that I did already. You got to go through this second layer with the drill. So again, take the small drill bit once you made the two holes uh, big on the on the first layer and take a smaller drill bit and do the same process All right, so after that. you got the two holes size that you need to get them I bought, I bought some of these gizmos here to put like a small washer type situation you know maybe I didn't have to do it but I did it anyway so now we're going to set this first we're going to have to get the the wire through here and we're going to uh, plug it in here and then we're going to tighten it down with the screws do yourself do yourself a favor and make sure your light bulbs work you know pre-check it it's no fun to just have to take these lens back off again it's not that you can't do it that's hard it's just you know unnecessary work all right, so now we're getting ready to screw everything in here. Just bring it snug to the lens. I got these screws exactly the same size as the hole in the lens. All right, so she's in there. We can take the tape off. Now we go inside and we're gonna put what I bought to make it easier. Instead of putting a regular nut, I got some wing nuts. go back in screw them on tighten them up real snug snug and you're good to go do the same procedure for the rest of them all right so if you have any other questions or if I have any other afterthoughts I'll let you know all right brothers sisters take care don't forget 
subscribe to my channel it helps me to believe that i'm not doing these videos for nothing all right all right be cool guys all right so here it is i'm done i taped it up you know good old duct tape this is the end let me show you the So there you have it. The end. So yeah, there is one afterthought. There's a reason why I got the uh, the wing nuts, man. So I can be careful not to crack the lens by over tightening it with the uh, screwdriver. All right, and there's another thing I want to bring to your attention is that if you're going to get the uh the lenses from the junker make sure that the seal is still on them okay that's the seal all right guys be good take care man